Hello, this is Mario Joyner with Forever Home Realty. Welcome or welcome back to my channel for another video. I want to share some crucial information with you regarding how buyers are shopping for homes in today's environment. I shared this information with both my buyers and sellers before we bring or look at any properties to market currently. Before I go any further, today I am outside of Summerlin Center Community Park. This park is a 20 acre park that features two full-size lighted soccer fields, a practice soccer field, picnic area, trails, and children's play areas. Now, in a year when we're learning to do so much remotely, home buying is no exception. From going to work, to attending school, grocery shopping, and even seeing our doctors online, digital practices have changed the way we live. This year, rather than delaying their home purchases, buyers alongside their trusted real estate professionals turn to the internet to do more than just a typical home search. In some cases, they bought homes without even stepping foot inside. Now, Jessica Louts, who's the Vice President of Demographics and Behavioral Insights at the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, says that people really didn't buy homes sight unseen traditionally. It's still not a huge number, but it has gone up and we have definitely seen that trend accelerate. According to NAR, throughout the coronavirus pan pandemic, one of every 20 home buyers purchased a house sight unseen. Now, how your real estate agent will pave the way today. Real estate professionals are using digital practices to help home buyers and sellers walk through many steps in the process virtually. While following the regulations set forth by the CDC and all local guidelines, this year agents quickly empower buyers and sellers with virtual tours, 3D floor plans, high quality photos, videos, online open houses, and more. For those who had home buying and selling needs in 2020, trusted advisors made it possible in many markets. Now there's a graph that I will provide to you showing some of the digital options buyers found most helpful in their searches this year, as noted by NAR in the 2020 Profile of Home Buyers and Sellers, a new way to shop for homes in a virtual world. Now the report also mentions that buyers this year generally search for eight weeks. Throughout that search, they viewed a median of nine homes, but not all of them were seen in person. Now Yahoo Finance notes, that buyers viewed five homes online and four homes in person during the pandemic compared to nine homes in person in 2019, according to NAR. This was the first year NAR asked buyers to specify the number of homes toured virtually. In true 2020 fashion, virtual practices helped buyers safely narrow down their top choices so they didn't have to unnecessarily walk into more homes than they needed to see throughout the process. Now I'll share the breakdown by region. At a time when health and safety are top priorities, current technology is making it possible for buyers and sellers to move their real estate plans forward at their own comfort levels, even though a worldwide pandemic. For many, this means buyers no longer have to physically tour every home they want to see and sellers don't need to open their doors over and over again throughout the process. Safety can come first, and trusted real estate professionals are here to help. Bottom line here, if you're ready to make a move, you may not have to press pause on your plans this year, or this season, I should say. Let's connect to determine the safe and effective options to buy or sell a home in our area or wherever you're looking uh, to move. Again, it's Mario Joyner with Forever Home Realty. Let's discuss this for your plans personally and how you can maximize this opportunity if you're looking to sell your home or if you're a buyer in this market.